Alright, so this will be a quick video tutorial on how to use a script to scavenge in Tribal Wars. Now, there are a lot of scripts that you can choose from. I'm just using the one that I think is the most easy and convenient, and I'll be linking to this one in the description. So from here, a few things we got to do. First off, you have to enable the troops that you want to send out. I want to send my spears, swords, and axes. Then you can choose if you want any of them to stay behind. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to leave 300 spears, 300 swords behind, so that I could have those for a snipe support, anything like that. I would just put, them, put those numbers in there, and those would stay home while the rest got sent out. You then choose which categories you want to use. Generally, Scavenger 1 is not worth using. There's a lot of math that goes into that on when it's worth using and not. Uh, if you're overall interested, DM me on Discord or in-game and we can talk about that. But for now, we're just going to leave that out. Then you can set when you want your scavenger run to return approximately. Let's say I needed it back by a certain time. I could set that. Or I could just set the maximum duration, which I now have at three hours. Lastly, you can choose if you want them balanced over all categories. This is good for when you're going to be here to restart it immediately. So if I'm here in three hours, I'm just going to do balanced, come back, and then start a new one. Priority on filler hier filling hierarchies would be more, let's say I am off for the night. I'll be sleeping for the next eight hours. I might send out an eight-hour scavenging run that'll be done by the time I am back in the morning. So yeah, after that, you just calculate run times for each page. You press the button to launch. And if you refresh here, we can see that every village has sent out a scavenging run. All right, thank you for watching.